At six, we're talking history at Notre Dame, specifically in the athletic department. Indeed, it's a story I've been working on for weeks now, as Notre Dame is in rare air when it comes to coaching diversity. <laughs> I'm talking way out in front, too. Look at this, with four black head coaches leading the way in men and women's basketball, football, and volleyball. So, I sat down, even took a walk with three of the four coaches, where we touched on a lot, including their reaction to the impending retirements of the people who hired them. Father Jenkins and, and, of course, Jack Swarbrick are a part of this happening. They both announced that they are retiring. Talk about the legacy that they're leaving behind. I've had the opportunity to, to actually be a student athlete here. I've been here for a very, very long time to see, you know, what Jack has brought here, what Father Jenkins has um, done for this university, which has impacted the South Bend community, and to see the growth of all aspects of Notre Dame is unbelievable. It's, it's profound what they've done. And Jack with just collegiate athletics just in general, not even just in the Notre Dame space. And I would say also with Father Jenkins, you know, they're, they're big decision makers within collegiate athletics and have really changed the landscape um, in a positive and enormous way. And I'm really proud of them and honored, you know, that they were the ones that helped bring me here, um, also bring these incredible coaches sitting next to me um, and we're, they're going to be truly missed but the legacy that they're leaving is is massive the the ability to look ahead look into the future and see where cal college athletics is headed i think that's that's the legacy that they've left because we are so far ahead we're so far ahead of so many universities because of Jack Swarbrick and how he sees college athletics and understands understands the landscape so for us we're in a really good position. We're, we're here. I'm new at this university, but I feel very secure in where we are in the University of Notre Dame, Notre Dame Athletics, because of what they've done. And I don't know if a lot of places can say that. I think their legacy is um, really us, right? Like, they've, they've put Notre Dame in a really good position, um, put Notre Dame Athletics in a really good position. And I feel like they, you know, hopefully feel like they're leaving this in good hands for whoever is, is succeeding them. And I, I know talking to Jack, like, his idea was he wanted to go out and hire the best. And, you know, you look at, you look at Marcus and the energy that, that he's bringing to the football program uh, with Niel and what she's done, you know, throughout her career and doing now. And Salima now just getting started and going and building this thing up, like, you know, I want to continue to do the same thing that they're doing, but like, we are the legacy that, that they're leaving and a big part of the legacy that they're leaving. So they're going to be remembered for a long time uh, for, for hiring us as coaches. All right, so coming up at 6 o'clock, we'll have more of my interview with the coaches as they talk about the weight of this moment and why it's so historic. I've gotten a few emails from people. I can be transparent about this. They've said, why are you doing this story? Why are you bringing this into the conversation race? It's so important, particularly when you're talking about that only two major universities are doing this. Yeah. That's something that needs to be highlighted and illuminated. And I think that the fact that we are doing that, it shows where ND is going and they're far ahead of everybody else. And you know what? You've been working on this for weeks yeah. now, so I'm really excited to see the full story. Thank you. You've been Thank working you. hard. Thank you. Yeah.